beast of the east. Jack Burford Chevrolet presents Race Week at the Richmond Raceway in Richmond, Kentucky. Here's your host in all things racing, Bill Lupino. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Richmond Race Week from the Richmond Raceway, sponsored by Jack Burr from Chevrolet. Bill, tell us, what happened uh, Sunday? Uh, it was kind of ugly. Mm. Um, weather wasn't looking good, you know, right. get up in the morning, 70% chance of yep. wet stuff, so you know, you, you know that keeps people away, and it was blazing hot. Oh, it was um, hot, hot and humid. It That's was very, very hot, right. you know, we got out there early in the morning and started doing our thing, and truck after truck after truck of water and you know right, doing sure. what you do right. which we had already been watering since like thursday night because right, right. it had been so hot you know we got out there yes. and got working on it and you know there was a lot of moisture in it yep so yep. that was a big change from you know right, the usual right. dust bowl that everybody says that it is sure, sure um track was decent early on it was actually pretty dang good it's pretty dang on good yeah. track from what yep. i understand yep. early on yep and then you know we went out in intermission because some drivers had requested that we do the top water around the top right, like we've been right. doing all year and it was so humid and sticky out sure. and there was such a cushion up there that it didn't take the same as it had and we right. had our trucks out there trying to roll it in and it wasn't really taking and then the dirt car series officials right who run the show on a night like that yes came and told us to pull our trucks off they're putting the late models out and they're going to take care of it okay so they put the late models out and it still wasn't really taken is that because of the humidity i think it had a yeah, big because part it was in it very, it was yeah. really really sticky really humid, i don't i right. don't know for sure i know sure. everyone in their brother cousin sister everybody on facebook's blaming me calling me names sure right. making sure yeah. that i know that i'm a piece of garbage but right. it is what it is it's, you know right. we did what we've been doing all year it was like the scooby-doo cut through the humidity kind of thing yes it, exactly it, it, yes i do think that was. played into yes. it i do right. think that played into it plus like i said the cushion was really really thick up there but sure you know they put the late models out once again their decision um, yeah because explain that because the series ty, the series director has that authority correct they yeah. run the program got you okay. the only thing we were in charge of the entire night were our super socks sure. our weekly right right weekly class they were in charge of the dirt car late models dirt car modified so what they okay. said goes we were not even on the same radio frequency as them i was getting all my information secondhand sure fed to me because we weren't on the same radio exactly right. what they said in the tech area went what they said in the tower went what they said on the track went what they told my flagman to do that, he had that to do you had to do yep, right. i mean he did we usually we're all in together the flagman the tower sure, and all yeah. that we had no communication no with communication anyone with the so you know my poor flagman's getting yelled at by people, but he's doing what he's told exactly by the series. Exactly, by the series. Not right. what he knew he needed to do. Right. And I feel bad because he does a great job. Sure. And, you know, people are yelling at him from the grandstands and calling him names because right. he's not throwing the yellow when they sure. want the yellow thrown. Right. He wanted it thrown then, too, but sure. he's listening to Durkar. Yeah, right. So kind of yeah. is what it is. It is. So, you know, they put the late models out there, and they're trying to roll on the top and, sure. you know, get mud all over the cars. You know, some of them are getting a little irritated. They fuel. They want to know if they could refuel if they did this, and plus it wasn't mm -hmm. really rolling in. Mm -hmm. And, of course, people are jumping me for putting $100,000 late models on the track instead right. of push-pack trucks. But that wasn't my call. Exactly so right. So then they make the decision that they're going to pull the late models. Mm -hmm. They're going to run modified super stocks and late models, okay. which I thought was a horrible idea. Right. Because people came to see late models. Sure. You can run the modifieds. I mean, Nick Hoffman, who's just setting a world on fire this year for yeah. the summer right. nationals, right. is there. And, you know, people want to see him race. Yeah, You know, exactly. a bunch of our local regional guys, you know, were mm -hmm. there also as well. Sure. So I got that point, put the modifieds out, let them kind of help get the track mm -hmm. going all that. But you can't run the super stock second. And, of course, my phone blew up when that was announced. Right. My fault. Right. Um, so I got on a radio and relayed through the second hand, third hand way to get it to the tower that, you know, I wanted at least late models run second. And they did decide to do that. They did do that. Okay. Yes, but Good. it doesn't stop everybody from, of course, blaming me. Sure. you know, I get blamed for everything. And again, um, <laughs> the series sets the pace for that. Yes. So. Yes. We had nothing to do it. So, you right. know, modifieds went out. Nick Hoffman kind of ran away with it, like yep. expected. I think he yep. won either 17 out of 18 he started or wow. 16 out of 17. Wow, so that 17. didn't change much. No, yep. no, no, no. Right. Uh, Victor Lee, one of our uh, regional greats around here, he does a fantastic job. He even said in his interview he knew he came to run second, and he ran second. And he ran second. Wow. So, okay. you know, but, you know, Nick, is he's Nick. He's, he's Nick. top right. notch. Yep. Uh, yep. Late models went out, you know, kind of around the bottom a little bit, but I know the leader, Bobby Pierce, who is also kind of dominating our series, who won. Okay. You know, he started on the pole, and he could protect on the bottom and not let anybody sure. get under him. Right. You know, there were some guys using the top throughout the field and kind of you know it wasn't really working for him out of too much moisture or still or okay. if, you know it had went away a little bit but bobby pierce won he's their point leader okay um yeah i talked to him a little bit after the race he said it was way better track than when he was there for the world of outlaws excellent and he said he Fantastic. Felt we were doing a good job so good good you good. know but you get that stuff personally and then everybody on facebook says other stuff well you know you know <laughs> i know your facebook fans out there They're um, not fans. it's very easy to do on facebook let's just yes. say that it's sort of like i always said cb radio for internet 
<laughs> yep. Yep. So. And then, you know, we ran our Super Socks, and Tyler Hayes got, I believe, his second one of the year okay. um, at our track Excellent. here. Good. So, you know, that was good for him. That was a good show, too, behind him. They were battling for second, third, and fourth. Tyler kind of had him covered. Okay. So, you know, it was good. Race, that. But, okay. yeah. but, you know, it's just kind of mind-boggling that, you know, the way people just attack on Facebook when yeah. they don't really know what's going on. Well, you know, you Bill, know. you and I yeah. both know that happens a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yep. yeah. It, it, uh, as my grandpa said, it is what it is. It is what it is. But moving on. Moving on. We're off this weekend. That's right. It is the fair. You got a weekend off. It yep. is the fair. And I know by looking at their schedule, the carnival rides and food yep. and I think all they that start good this week. stuff. Yeah, right. I believe they start tomorrow Excellent. on Tuesday. Cool, cool. Um, you know, and I know everybody likes the food. You can't, you know, fair food is fair Oh, food. yeah, it's fair food horrible is horrible for you, but it it's usually really good. good. It is um, really good. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, we're off this weekend. We're taking our Ultimate Heart of America Super Late Model Series up to Indiana for three okay. nights. Yeah, that's right. You yep. mentioned it. Heading up there for Circle City, Shady Hill, back to Circle okay. City, three 5,000 wins. Got a good, good list of drivers confirmed already. So cool. we should go up there and have a good show for those guys. Excellent. And then the current plan is to bounce back uh, August 7th. Um, August 7th. That is Saturday. Saturday. Back and to Saturday. Uh, tell us about the uh, series that you're going to this weekend. My series, Ultimate yeah, Heart of America. Yeah. Um, Tell us about that. I took series over about a year and a half ago. Last year, okay. we lost a bunch of races because of COVID. Okay. And we did our opening night here. We were supposed to do the Butch Shea that Mother Nature took. Right, We sure. have these three races up there. Ultimate is doing the Butterball here. Right. Um, yeah, Ultimate Heart of America Super Lake Model Series. Cool. Excellent. Three five thousands to win up there. Like I said, we got some good drivers already confirmed. Actually got cool. in last night cool. and had a message from a, a very well-known national driver that's available to race nice. this weekend and he nice. asked me to tire rule and they're looking nice. at coming and okay. you know as we get to know who all's coming we'll uh announce some things later in the Excellent. week but i do okay. know for sure of a good handful a good i had handful. two more asked right. the tire rule this morning now is there coming. a separate facebook page for that too yes yes that's what i thought okay. yep that is Excellent. out there ultimate heart of america so make sure you join that like that too yep. right okay. um but you know as of now the plan is to get back at it uh august 7th august 7th if uh you know the, we hope let's let's if Mother Nature lets Mother us, Mother Nature and, uh, lets us, uh, yeah. and if the haters don't chase us and, away, finally, and exactly. Let's let's uh, uh, come on, people. Let's let's go racing. Uh, everything is on your website. Yes, Richmond-Raceway.net. Yep. So go there, take a look at that. I was on there the other night, just clicking. You can click for hours and get yep. all kinds of information. It's really cool, really neat, and of course, Quality Inn. Uh, Quality is, Inn is is the great place to stay yes, here in Richmond. Our hotel when you choice. Come to the races. So. Uh, it's the hotel choice and, and special discount. So uh, anything else that we may have mentioned? You got T-shirts and everything else for sale, which you can also get online. Yep, and you know, okay. we sold a handful of T-shirts this weekend, cool. and you cool. know there were some driver souvenir trailers there and the dirt car oh, souvenir nice. trailer, cool. and I know right. they all did pretty well. We did have cool. kettle corn back. Uh, Yay! A gentleman and his wife yes. bought Benny's stuff. Oh, did they? Okay. Yep. So they're they running worked the kettle corn. hand in hand with Benny's uh, cool. wife to make okay. sure it's the same recipe. Everything's cooked the everything's same way. Everything's good. Um, okay. They did. Pretty good job from what I heard, and nice. they smelled great, and nice. they gave us a few bags to try, and we got in about 2 in the morning, and I tried some, and it tasted it just as good. good as Benny's. Does kettle corn so, smell bad at any time? Yeah, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they took over Excellent. Benny's entire okay. setup, That's so good to know. they came in to do a good job, That's so good kettle corn is back. All right. It's not Benny, but... But not Benny, but it's real close, folks. It, yeah, the food is... The kettle corn is the great, food, but... The kettle corn is great. They did a good job. Good. Excellent. Uh, so next week, watch the show, find out all the information yep. for August 7th race. Check them out on their website, their Facebook page. All that information is on there. And uh, we'll see you next week on the uh, Richmond Race Week presented by Jack Burford Chevrolet and the Richmond Raceway. Thanks, Bill, for coming in. You got it.